JB, a game like this, um, you know, to be able to, um, you know, you won four straight and to have a game like this, just what are your thoughts on it to, to not get the win where you guys wanted to tonight? Yeah, obviously we're disappointed we didn't get the win tonight, but we battled, uh, you know, give them credit. They played well in that first quarter. The rest of the way, we won the rest, of, you know, two, three, and four. Uh, we won that stretch. We just had a poor start, poor first quarter, and uh, playing from behind all night. But I thought our guys battled. Nobody gave in. Um, it could have easily gone the other direction. We hung in there. I think we cut it to nine. We got two or three stops in a row. You know, those shots didn't fall. If a few of those fall, maybe it's a four-point game, two-point game. Uh, give them credit, though. They played well. Will, go ahead. Hey, JB, Will with Fox 46. <clears throat> excuse me, with Fox 46. Uh, their length looked like it caused a bit of a problem tonight. Just kind of talk about that if you will. Yeah, they're big. I mean, we felt their length all night. We tried to get to the rim, tried to get to the paint. They made it tough for us in, in that area. So nothing easy for us tonight. Uh, in a game like this, we were going to have to make some threes. And for us, 10 for 38 was just not going to be enough tonight. Um, and that's what length does for you at the rim, especially. They make it tough. So uh, we didn't get enough in transition. That was probably the area we could have tried to score some easy ones in transition. We didn't get enough done there. Um, so. Um, we carry on, we move on. And just to follow up on that, it looked like in the first half, at least you guys moved the ball around the perimeter looking for those threes in the second half, tried to get the ball in the paint, create from in there and kick it out. Is that, is that kind of the mindset? Yeah, that was. And we really always want that. We want the, the kick out first. I mean, I thought, I thought first half, we just played on the perimeter too much. There was five out, no movement, no cuts, no paint pressure at all in the first half. I thought we had better paint pressure second half. If we had had that in the first quarter, maybe it would have been a, a different story. But not enough paint pressure in the first half. Um, we we got to drive and kick it for threes. We can't just, you know, move that thing across the the, the three point line and hope we're going to get a good shot. Danny Thompson, Coach Danny Thompson with a three point conversion. I know this is a totally different Dallas team that you saw from about two weeks ago. How difficult is it to prepare with Dallas having two unique players? and Luka Doncic and Christoph Porzingis. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we hadn't seen them yet. That's the first time we've seen this lineup. And um, they're long, they're physical. And those are two special players, you know, that can play at a high level. Give Doncic credit. He played a great game tonight. Porzingis' length and his size, obviously, it was a factor out there. But, um, hey, no excuses. They played well. We got to play better tomorrow night. Sam Farley. JB, you kind of touched on it just a little bit, but would you chalk up kind of a slow start in the first quarter to more of just kind of matchup trouble and just couldn't get anything going offensively as opposed to effort or energy or anything like that? Yeah, I think Dal – I'll watch the film. It looked like Dallas had a little more juice than us in the first quarter. And a lot of that is, Sam, when you're making shots, you got more juice, you know. And first quarter, we could not make a shot. Um, that's not the first time this has happened, you know. Uh, we've got off to some slow starts, and it, and it, and it can catch up to us. So we uh, we got to be better there. You know, we need that ball to go through the net. Our defense, I thought, kept us in it at times. But the first quarter, you know, that's what cost us. 32 to 16, that was the game right there. Um, we needed to make more shots. Richard Walker. Uh, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Uh, Coach Brego, we talked before the game about how well y'all had defended Doncic, obviously. He had a big game today. What did you see from him, and what was he doing differently? Because I'm sure you tried the same defensive strategy that worked for you in Dallas. Yeah, he was more aggressive tonight overall. I thought he just played better. You know, maybe for whatever reason, he shot it better. He was more aggressive. Um, you know, we tried a few different uh, schemes on him, but he's a heck of a player. I mean, this isn't the first time he's done this, so uh, you got to tip your hat to him. Last question. We'll go to Christos. Hello, coach. I would like to ask you, how would you explain the slow start on the game and uh, what would you like to change about the approach tonight? Well, I thought we could have played some better offensive possessions. I, I thought we could have been more aggressive attacking the paint. Uh, we settled too much in the first quarter in general. Offensively, we settled too much for living with perimeter shots. Give them credit. Their length was there. Their length bothered us, but we still got to be committed to driving the paint, getting to the rim, and kicking out. 
Um, you know, we're not a great finishing team, so we're going to have to drive it to kick it. But we got to have better spacing and more of an att attack mentality. We didn't have enough of that in the first quarter.